should be on the air with me. He's kind of a big deal. Ron Burgundy made it here tonight, folks. I am a big deal. You've heard, eh? I've heard once or twice. Mainly from you, though. I, I heard there was a party in your pants here, so I came. Meet me after. Okay. All right. Thanks to all of you guys for being here. You've been a very important part of this last month. It was my first opportunity to take part in November. Travis is our team captain. Us guys, our wives, those significant others know that he kept us in check really, really well. He ran this thing awesomely, kept it all organized. So first from your team to our captain, Travis. Thanks, brother. This is what 30 days of not having SEX does to you. <laughs> you too, huh? We have to grow the sash, and we also have to put up with that, so. Uh, I thought I was the only one. No, there's 25 of us, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I want to introduce the Mobros, so if you guys can stand up. Uh, you know, I can't even say enough about these guys. The goal was to set $100 each. Everybody went well beyond that. Uh, right now, our team total is just shy of $6,000. That's pretty cool. Girlfriends, significant others who helped out, and one of which really jumped on the train and raised some money here for us as well. And that would be Travis's wife, the real Mrs. Hooper, who jumped on the board and really helped us out here tonight. She keeps it in check for the Hooper family. And of course, two of them are our local United Way chairs here this year. We're going to see a lot more from them. Unfortunately, that means more from Travis. But we'll put up with the rest of the family. How's that sound? Miss Movember, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to start it off with the man of Movember, ladies and gents. The man of Movember, who is the Mo Bro judged to have the ultimate mustache. You know where we are? Let me see. You've got best, you've got lame, you've got... Best groomed, yep, that's ultimate. And best mo, yes, this is the man of November. We have the best man of November is Paul. Paul Eniston, who I believe is also the highest fundraiser in the group as well, so it works hand in hand. Thanks to Paul, family, and friends for putting up with him. Our man of November here with the Wally Stashers. Give him a round of applause, guys. He's got a pretty sweet pack here as well from the Pyrenees Touch Engraving and an awesome prize pack. And our lame Mo, we won't take him to the woodshed and be done with him, but our facially follically challenged brethren, our lame Mo this year goes to... I don't think we, you know, it's not a surprise to anybody. <laughs> we all say this together. Chris. 
and Chris has got what everyone said they needed all along. We, I, had, I put a lot of thought into this, so, you know, since he can't grow his own, we've got him a cheap at head, which you can apply to the mustache area, and a draw on your t-shirt kit to draw your own mustache there. In all reality, Chris uh, has welcomed the criticism with open arms. He knows what it's about. We bug each other daily on the air, but uh, we're as close as friends as you can really get. And he's been awesome through this whole thing. So despite not liking you one bit, thanks, CP. Our ultimate Mo is our next prize winner. Our Mo Bro judged to have the best groomed, groomed and styled Mo. The best groomed is Aaron Hall. <laughs> They apparently didn't see the front and back of those chats. <laughs> Nor did they see him at work for the last month. This is the one day he groomed it. Mostly because it was so smooth. I think he shaved before he came. Yeah. Did you actually rub his face? Yes, I did. Wow. I went around and... Was that the chaps you rubbed? Or was it? No. <laughs> we should form a best group or duo. And we chose Kevin and Tom. As <laughs> 